what we are achieving by transitioning to a model-based enterprise is to make sure that we keep all that in sync and that it is all well connected. All the different disciplines can put their own lens on the same problem, but the same set of data is providing the same answer real-time to the different functions. And keeping this organization in sync provides a lot of advantage in terms of just daily headaches of trying to reconcile the, the different sources of information, but also in terms of building trust between the functions and acting very quickly on an insight coming from either one of those functions. Today we live in a document-based world. We spend a ton of time and resources in taking things that already live into models and putting those into 2D drawings. None of that is value-added. When we stop for a second and think of what we're really trying to do with modularity and architecture design and we can start looking at the function and form in different ways that we couldn't before. We can take the data out of those models. We can create analytics for those so we can look and see how many of our form related concepts are directly linked to different functions. We can start to look at what are our primary functions and what are our key elements that now starts to put our architecture definition into something that is based more on computational analysis instead of gut instinct and tacit knowledge. So from a cost standpoint, if you are using a global design or architecture that can then meet the regional needs, you don't need to spend engineering time, procurement, manufacturing time, trying to create solutions that meet only a regional need. From a quality standpoint, you can have the best of the best designs and best minds working on a single solution that meets regional requirements. You work on the design that yields the best quality. And for regions where we have regional designs, we can see what's best from each of them from a quality standpoint and select that as the global architecture design. Time to market, of course, if we're not recreating regional product designs and working on a global solution, we have a shorter product design cycle there. PTC is helping us advance this technology agenda by bringing us a lot of different tools. We think about model-based enterprise, and now is really the foundational elements are laid in place. So now we can start to get that digital traceability, this digital thread, if you will, between all of our elements. So that, that total integration of all those tools impact the consumer because there's actually a convergence between how you work and what you deliver to the market. The speed of innovation has increased so much that you constantly want to be in tune with what's happening in the market in the way you work. Having the proper PLM solutions in place, whether it's in the system modeling, whether it's the control on the parts that you put behind this, the way all this work together across the whole organization allows to deliver much more meaningful use cases for the consumers. The fact that you can have tools that work really well together and facilitate this convergence is absolutely essential to anything you want to do.